Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech. In this video, I'm going to quickly do a review on this Kimberlin. Uh, it's the YA201 uh, fault code reader. So this is a great handy little tool um, if you need to reset uh, an engine warning light. Uh, so some of the functions are limited to what you can do, but if you want to just be able to do something simple like um, turn off or clear or erase a fault code in your engine, then this is quite a good little tool. It's relatively cheap. It's about £30 or $30, um, so it's really cheap. Um, the um, website where you can get it from is in the um, description below, so go check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to plug this in. So this is on a Mercedes uh, A-Class great thing about this you can use this on multiple different vehicles so it's not um, uh, linked to one particular manufacturer so it can do loads of different manufacturers so on this Mercedes A class this is a 2020 or 2019 model year so the diagnostic socket is up under here so just right above where the brake um, pedal is you might not be able to see that it's just up there so obviously it's 16 pin uh, plug so you just plug that in. Now, depending on your vehicle, you'll probably find that the diagnostic plug is always somewhere near around where the steering wheel sort of area is. Um, as I said, this is on an A-Class. Um, so look, you can see straight away it's got a lovely screen on there. And actually, I've not taken off the plastic protector on there. So I'll take this off now beautiful look at that so it's got a um, colored display on there with a couple of buttons so nice and simple obviously first thing I need to do is obviously turn the ignition on so let's uh, fire that up right now once my ignition's on I can go through to diagnosis and it will start reading uh, the engine control module so you can see there straight away it's quite quick i can see it says off so that means the warning light is not on there's currently no fault codes in there so that's good so uh, i can go through and then check uh, the engine uh, module so for, it comes up with several different modules here this all goes into the engine so sometimes if you go into different ones there's some slightly different um, features or functions within there or what it's picking up so you can see i've got uh, read codes so if I go read I've got any stored codes nope I've got no code stored if I did then I could go back and I could go to erase codes it says do you want to erase it will come up obviously I've got no codes in there at the moment so there isn't anything actually to erase but that's how you would erase it uh, if I just go back to read it's also got pending and um, permanent codes obviously I'm fault free at the moment so there's no codes in there um, but if I go down to the other one that I quite like with this is the live data. This is quite good um, for looking at some of the live data or uh, information. So I'm just going to go to all data streams. Uh, I can move the whatever one I'm looking at up to the top. So for example, um, so obviously look, you've got engine coolant temperature, for example, uh, your RPM, that's your vehicle speed, etc. So there is a little book with this because there's a lot of codes in here. <coughs> Um, but there's a little uh, leaflet book with it so if you're not sure what some of the codes are you can refer back to this and it will give you the information as to what some of the codes are so make sure you keep this little uh, leaflet that comes uh, in the box because that will be handy because if you're not sure what you're looking at they'll give you a bit of a tip but for example you can go down here it's got throttle um, position that's your voltage for the control unit but if I put my foot on the accelerator pedal you can see that um, moving up and down so I know my accelerator pedal is working so that's quite good and obviously you can record it you can save it to it as well and play back you can go into a uh, graphical display so I can select what I want to uh, read so here you can see I've only got the um, engine load uh, my uh, engine coolant temperature rpm and vehicle speed so they're the only four that we've got so for example I can put engine coolant temperature on there uh, rpm vehicle speed i'm not going to go anywhere i might as well put all four on and I hit the back button there you can see it comes up with the gra graph so you can see currently 18 to 19 degrees c my rpm is zero so if i start the engine up now you can see then 
the RPM's going up. Okay. There we go as I rev it, so you can see that kind of moving. If I go back to the coolant temperature, we should start to slowly see that go up, because obviously the engine is running. So it's quite a good one if you think there's, you've got a fault with your uh, engine coolant temperature. So that is pretty much it. The other thing that I like about this tool, which is quite good, is um, if I go back, <coughs> go back now to DTC lookup. Um, now what you can do is actually you can check different um, fault codes. Now this doesn't actually have Mercedes in here, um, so you can see all the manufacturers that it has got. Just for example, see there wasn't Mercedes actually on the list, um, but it's got most of the other uh, manufacturers. Um, or you can just go to uh, all or generic, because actually what you'll probably tend to find is most of the fault codes are fairly generic. So if I go for example P. So engine coolant temperature sensor, uh, one circuit high, possible causes. So it'll then tell you some possible causes. Um, so coolant temperature sensor signal is higher than the maximum value, so 4.6 volts or minus 50 degrees. So it's kind of giving you a little bit of information. At least that way you can go away and do a little bit more diagnosis, check up online to see uh, exactly what it is. But if you've got a fault code and you're not sure what it is, at least that can give you a little bit of a tip. So just to show you another vehicle, this is on my uh, Land Rover Discovery, 2021 model year. Um, so same things again, um, I'll go through to diagnosis. You see it run through the fault codes. Uh, again, uh, I've got no fault codes actually in this car, but I can just go through uh, and I've got a couple of different modules, got some names on these ones. So I've got my engine uh, control module or power control module and then TCM, so my um, transmission. Um, so I'll just go into engine first. Obviously, I've got no codes, but I can go to read, stored, no codes. If I needed to erase, I'll just go down to erase codes. But again, uh, quite like the live data on this. We go to all. Um, there's quite a lot on this car. So that's the one thing I'll say, depending on your vehicle that you've got, you may get more or less um, information. This has actually got quite a few bits on it. So you can see intake uh, manifold, absolute pressure, RPM, um, you know, there's quite a few bits and pieces on there, fuel rail pressure, etc. So depending on uh, what vehicle you've got will depend on what uh, information you've got on there. So if I uh, start it up now. So I'll start it up straight away. You can see then uh, fuel rail pressure has gone right up. Start to give it a bit of a rev start to see some of the data moving so obviously you can live feed look at this you can see map sensors there so it's quite quite a bit of data on uh, on my Land Rover Cool. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, our little look and tour through uh, the tool. I'll see if we can check any other manufacturers. Uh, another great thing about this tool as well is that you don't need um, any sort of Wi-Fi or you don't need to download anything. If you do need to update it, there's a cable so you can up, uh, update the um, machine via there. So if there's any updates. You can do that, but the great thing about this, you can just leave it in your car. You don't need, um, as I said, any Wi-Fi and stuff like that. I've used quite a few where you can use it on your phone and stuff like that, where actually then sometimes you need a Wi-Fi signal, which is a little bit frustrating sometimes um, if you're out and about in the middle of nowhere. So again, great tools, just keep in the glove box, just in case you get that odd um, fault that comes up and you need to quickly erase it. So that's pretty much it, guys. The, as I said, this is the, uh, the YA. 201 uh, e-diag by Kinglin. Um, go check it out. Uh, the website's in the description. It's a good little tool. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.